Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Nanwal and today we will be starting with the numerical based on the Muller-Bresch law principle. So first numerical says that using Muller-Bresch law's principle, draw ILD for RB and find the ordinates of ILD at E and F. So this is E and this is F. We need to find the ordinates of ILD. So first of all, what you will do? As it has said, that we have to draw the ILD for RB. So drawing ILD for RB that is for reaction. First of all, draw the span and remove the free strain. So RB will be removed, and here there will be a displacement of unit. There will be a unit displacement here. So this is A point, this is E point, this is B point. So when there will be a unit displacement, so unit displacement means this span will raise like this. Okay. So this span will raise like this. And there is no hinge or etc. So this span will go simply straight this way. So this is unit displacement. Okay, this is a point, and this span which is at B. When this span is up going upwards, so this E span go downwards. Okay, so this goes downwards. Okay, so this will be like this, something like this. Okay, so we need to find the ordinates at E and F. So this is the ordinate at E and this is the ordinate at F and uh, sorry I forgot to write down the span so this span is 2 meter here and 4 meter here and 3 meters here ok now we have the span this is 2 meter this is 4 meter and this is 3 meter and we know that this is 1 ok now when you, you can simply see you can name them or you can write down or on your own or simply apply the unit free method that for 4 meters it is going 1 unit displacement 1 for 1 meter it will be 1 by 4 and for this is 4 plus 3 7 for 7 meters it will go 7 by 4 so the ordinate f will be 7 by 4 and the ordinate here at e point will be how much so for getting this ordinate we have to apply that this is Suppose this is angle theta, this is angle this is theta. So theta will be 10 theta. Suppose let us say 10 theta will be as this angle is small, so we are taking it theta is equal to 1 by 4 perpendicular upon base. Okay. Now theta will be same here. Now theta is same here, so uh, this distance is 2 meters. So let us say theta from this angle will be theta equals to perpendicular that we need to calculate upon base and theta we know that it, it is 1 by 4 into 2 and we get the value as x is equal to 1 by 2 so this is the ordinate at e so we have this is how we will calculate the ordinates now the second numerical says that the two wheel loads 50 kN and 150 kN spaced as 2 meter move on a girder 12 meter long ok so this is a girder which is 12 meter long and here is one uh, the wheel loads that is this is the wheel load that we are talking about this is 50 kN this is 150 kN ok so these two wheel loads will move on this one and these are 2 meter apart ok so move they are moving on this girder Fi we need to find out the maximum positive and negative shear force so when we are when we have been asked to calculate the shear force at a section ok so what we will do first of all we will draw the ILD for the shear force ok so we need to get the maximum and negative value also that is positive and negative shear force at a section 3 meter from the left hand from this left hand any wheel load can leave the other that means either 50 kilo newton may be ahead or 150 may be ahead so we need to check for both the cases so first case will be when we will assume that this 50 kilo newton will be behind and 150 kilo newton will be ahead ok so first of all we will apply the loading here and before that we will make an shear force diagram for this so we need the at x and x x we are talking about so we will draw for drawing a shear force ild what you have to do you need to 
make a displacement of unit displacement at that point and the displaced shape of the structure is the ILD for the shear force. So, this will be the ILD for shear force at that point, okay. Now, when we have drawn this, okay, this is D point. So, now we will be applying loading condition here, okay. When the load this part uh, that is 50 kilo Newton will be here and uh, we can say oh sorry 150 kilo Newton here and this is 50 kilo Newton here that is 2 meter apart okay and this is fan is we know that is it is 3 meters now when at C point first there will be 150 kilo, kilo Newton load that will act at that case we need the ordinate for this point and we need the ordinate at this point so for calculating the shear force we need the ordinates so how will you calculate the ordinates we already know that why when we have learned about the ILD for shear force this ordinate that uh, which is upwards will be this span that is 9 upon total span and this span will be A upon L and A here is 3 meter upon 12 so we have the ordinates here now with these ordinates I can calculate this ordinate where the 50 kilo Newton load is acting so for that this ordinate will be you can see that for 3 meters it is going 3 by 12 for 1 meter it will be 3 upon 12 into 3 and for uh, that is for how much you can say for 3 meter it has gone with this and for um, 1 meter it will be 1 by 12 so it will be for 1 meter it will be 1 by 12 this is simply the unitary method that uh, you, when I am saying for 3 meter it is going 3 by 12 upwards so for 1 meter it will go how much upwards so it is simple unitary method and now we have the ordinate uh, of this point that is 1 by 12 now for calculating the shear force this region is that is been under the loading now for uh, calculation of shear force we need these ordinates okay and this is the case of uh, as this is the negative region so from here we will get the maximum negative shear force and for calculation of the uh, of the shear force we have to take the load into the ordinate so first loading is that 150 kilo newton into the ordinate that is 3 into 12 and next is 50 into 1 by 2 okay now calculate this after calculation we have got it as 41.67 kilo newton okay you can check with the help of calculator that maximum negative shear force is this one so that we have calculated the maximum negative shear force now second case says when the 50 kilo newton load is ahead in that case what will happen okay as we want the value of maximum positive and maximum negative so maximum value will come when when the maximum load is acting at that point okay so maximum load is 150 kilo this is simple that when the maximum load will act then the only the maximum shear force will be there so maximum load is 150 kilo newton so at that point we are applying 150 kilo now we are in second case we will assume that this um, suppose this is the ild shear force ild okay now when we have made the ild here so this point is 3 by 12 okay and this point is 9 by 12 okay now in this case we will assume that 50 kilo newton load is ahead okay but if we will assume that 50 kilo newton load is here in that case what will happen the shear force will not be maximum now we have to assume the wind 50 kilo newton load is acting here because we need the maximum value of shear force now the 50 
kilo newton load is gone ahead at that point we will get the value of this ordinate and we need the value of this ordinate and we will get the positive shear force ordinates here now with that we will get maximum value of positive shear force so how we'll get the this ordinate this ordinate we, we already know that it is 9 by 12 and for calculating this ordinate how we'll get this ordinate and <coughs> this is 2 meters okay now this is 3 meters this is 2 meters because the span between the loading is 2 meter and remaining is 7 okay now you can see for 9 meters it has gone 9 by 12 ordinate upwards there, there, there is no unit for the ILD ordinates okay they, this this is having no unit so for 9 meter it is going this much up ahead so for 1 liter it will go 9 upon 12 into 9 and for how much we want we want for 7 meters for 7 meters it will go 9 by 12 into 9 into 7 that is 7 by 12 so now we have the value of this ordinate that it is 7 by 12 okay now when we have this value now can we can simply get the maximum value of positive shear force as that it is 150 into the ordinate that is 9 by 12 plus other one is 50 kilo newton into this ordinate that it is 7 upon 12 and solve this equation and we will get as 141.67 kilo newton okay so this is how you will solve the numerical based on the ild okay so for today this much is enough you can go through these numerical and i will be sending you few more numerical that you can try okay so thank you very much